Tank Dell is expected back in week eight and the Texans rookie is already putting himself amongst the NFL's best receivers. Here's why. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Scott Proctor. You know the deal by now. This is Proctor's point of view. And as always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments, especially like this one right here. I'll address this one right here. Hey man, I appreciate you saying I'm cute. I am kind of fresh and they got the fresh cut, you feel me? But you still think Josh Allen's a top five quarterback? Did you not see him get outplayed by Mac Jones last week? Did you not see him almost lose to Tyrod Taylor the week before and actually lose to Zach Wilson in week one? Wake up, my guy. But stay tuned to the end of this episode so you can guess the answer to today's trivia question right down here below. To today's topic, though, hey, man, Tank Dell is one of them ones, man. His 17 yards per catch this season leaves all rookies with at least 15 receptions, and he's expected to return in week eight after missing a game with the concussion. That's awesome news for the three and three Houston Texans and their stud rookie quarterback, CJ Stroud. Why? Because Tank is already one of the NFL's best pass catchers, according to ESPN's new receiver tracking metrics. The player tracking data from NFL Next Gen Stats analyzes every route run and assesses receiver performance in three distinct phases, getting open, contesting and making the catch, and generating yards after the catch, or yak. Those three components are blended together to create an overall receiving score. And you want to know where Tank ranks among NFL wide receivers? Fourth. And not just among rookies, fourth in the entire league. Just behind A.J. Brown, Brandon Ayuk, and D.J. Moore. That's some pretty damn good company. The biggest reason for Tank's top four placement is his get open score of 90, which is second only in the NFL to Ayuk and Tank's overall score is ahead of stars like CeeDee Lamb, Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, and others. That's impressive stuff for a 5'10", 165 pound rookie who's played just five NFL games, but Dell has been a star. He had back-to-back -back 1,300 yard campaigns at the University of Houston and scored a combined 29 touchdowns over his last two seasons with the Cougars. It's why C.J. Stroud wanted the Texans to draft him, and it's why Texans head coach D'Amico Ryans is excited to have Dell back for week eight. Here's what D'Amico Ryans had to say about his stud rookie receiver. Get a tank back is big for us. Our tank is, as we all seen, he's made big time plays every game that he's been out there. He's been consistent, a uh, guy that we can count on when we need a big play. So it's exciting to have tank back, you know, just thankful that he's healthy and he's back, uh, feeling better, and he's ready to roll. Tank could be in for another huge showing in Week 8 against Carolina since the Panthers allowed Tyreek Hill to go off for 163 yards and a touchdown in their last game. Also helping Dell's chances for continued success is Nico Collins, who's having a breakout season, leading the Texans in catches, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. Nico actually checks in at number 5 on ESPN's receiver tracking metrics just one spot behind tank which means houston now has two of the top five pass catchers in the nfl this season it's a new era of houston texans football and tank dell is one of the faces of it but cj stroud is the straw that stirs the drink go check out my recent proctor's point of view for more on that and here's that answer to the trivia question the one i teased at the top i'll see you right back here tomorrow for fan friday